prompt for day 10 was paint. So I went with something really simple and just did a shader ball. I'm um, doing watercolor texture. Um, the common way of doing this is using the hue output from a noise texture, so separate HSV. And I've just burnt in a little bit of Voronoi distance to give me the splatters. Using linear light with some noise beforehand gives me the kind of wave, wavy edge to everything. Makes it look a little bit more like some paper and it's run into the, the fibers. Just making the actual paper texture here with a high frequency noise around about a scale of 300. And just giving myself some controls for the contrast on the front now. So I made the watercolor into a group because I'm going to use several of them and layer them up. And the great thing about watercolor is it's a, it's a transparent paint, so it layers really nicely. I've taken the gradients out from my wet edges, which is just the hue output, um, and I'm putting these through a color ramp so that I can position different colors at different points. So at the edge of a wet edge where it's dried, you get a lot of pigment kind of, uh, kind of appearing on the edge there, and it fades out towards transparency towards the middle and you also get this really nice kind of fading where you get some lost edges. I'm layering these up with a darken blend mode. Uh, the way that watercolor works is it, it will only darken, you can't lighten because of the way it's transparent. Adds a bit of glitching with the paint there, it was kind of stepping. I think I'd just gone too high in the Z. Rather than using 4D noise I used 3D and I added a high value for the seed and the seed was just a multiple of the Z so I was basically moving it up and down to make it lighter so I wasn't using a four di fourth dimension in the calculation and um, just going in here and making the actual material so making sure that I've got the color correct as well as the roughness so it's going to be slightly shiny on the edge but otherwise more or less completely matte and also just playing a little bit with the specularity to make sure that I've got a little bit more variation across the surface. Make sure I've got bump in here as well, so anywhere there's thick paint I don't want to have paper surface, but everywhere else I want the paper surface. And that's it. Nice and simple.